Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. What Meghan Markle thinks is damaging about the royal family? Since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family earlier this year, the couple has faced continued public scrutiny. Yet while the duo's move to Los Angeles remains an undeniably popular debate topic, few outlets acknowledge the fact that Harry and Meghan have relinquished their duties in an effort to protect their mental health amid the media's attacks on their family. Historically, British culture values stoicism, and by tradition, Britons rarely show emotion in public. But as Meghan said in a 2019 interview with ITV host Tom Bradby, when your name is splashed across the tabloids day after day, it's hard to ignore. I really tried to adopt this British sensibility of a stiff, upper lip. I really tried, but I think that what that does internally is probably really damaging. Meghan admitted with tears in her eyes, via Vanity Fair. I have said for a long time to H that's what I called him. It's not enough to just survive something. That's not the point of life. You have got to thrive. You have got to feel happy. With the future of their family on the line, Harry and Meghan made the choice that way best for them, and their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten, Windsor. Prince Harry wants to protect Meghan Markle from the same fate as his mother. In her interview for Tom Bradby's documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, Meghan Markle admitted how hurtful the media's claims can be. She said, I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair. And that's the part that's really hard to reconcile. If things were fair, if I'd done something wrong, I'd be the first one to go, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I would never do that. But when people are saying things that are just untrue, and they are being told they're untrue but they're allowed to still say them, I don't know anybody in the world who would feel like that's okay. And that's precisely why Prince Harry chose to do what was best for his family. He told Bradby, I will not be bullied into carrying a game that killed my mom. Harry's mother, Princess Diana, was killed in a 1997 car accident after being chased by paparazzi. He add, Look, part of this job and part of any job, like everybody, means putting on a brave face and turning a cheek to a lot of the stuff. But again, for me and for my wife of course, there's a lot of stuff that hurts, especially when the majority of it is untrue. With the tragic death of his mother on his heart, Harry wants to ensure his wife and child never suffer the same fate. Prince Harry knows the impact poor mental health can have firsthand. After the death of his mother, Prince Harry spent decades trying to adhere to the stiff upper lip tradition to which Meghan Markle referred. But in a podcast interview with Telegraph columnist Bryony e. Gordon, the Duke of Sussex broke royal protocol when he revealed this latent grief left him very close to total breakdown on numerous occasions. Harry explained via Forbes, I can safely say that losing my mom at the age of 12, and therefore shutting down all of my emotions for the last 20 years, has had a quite serious effect on not only my personal life but my work, as well. He added, I thought that thinking of her was only going to make me sad and not going to bring her back. So from an emotional side I was like right, don't ever let your emotions be part of anything. And then I started to have a few conversations. And actually all of a sudden, all of this grief that I have never processed started to come to the forefront and I was, like, there is actually a lot of stuff here that I need to deal with. His personal experiences have made him incredibly empathetic to Meghan's emotions. Prince Harry, Prince William, and Kate Middleton want to change how Brits views mental health. Despite said British traditions, Prince Harry, Prince William, and Kate Middleton launched an organization devoted to mental health awareness throughout the United Kingdom. Known as Heads Together, the initiative aims to tackle stigma and change the conversation on mental health, per the group's website. Together the young royals wanted to ensure that people feel comfortable with their everyday mental well-being, feel able to support their friends and families through difficult times, and that stigma no longer prevents people getting the help they need. The Duchess of Cambridge said in a statement about the organization's official launch in 2016. Too often, people feel afraid to admit that they are struggling with their mental health. 
This fear of judgment stops people from getting the help they need, which can destroy families and end lives. Heads Together wants to help everyone feel much more confident with their everyday mental health, and to have the practical tools to support their friends and family. Fueled by the loss of their mother, Harry and William have flipped British culture on its head in an effort to promote mental health across the country and close to home. Another Analysis The reason Harry and Meghan aren't phased by Trump's security cost claims. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry reportedly moved to Los Angeles from Canada in March 2020, a development that inspired a very pointed tweet from President Donald Trump about the cost of their security. He tweeted, It was reported that Harry and Meghan, who left the kingdom, would reside permanently in Canada. Now they have left Canada for the U.S. However, the U.S. will not pay for their security protection. They must pay. Although it's not the most welcoming tweet ever, some might argue Trump raised a fair point. With Meghan and Harry stepping down as members of the royal family on March 31, 2020, as their spokesperson confirmed, the cost of their security must fall to someone, and no political leader is necessarily obligated to shoulder the financial burden. According to the Sovereign Grant Act, had they remained working members of the royal family, the Home Office, part of Her Majesty's government, would have covered their security bill, but since the couple has chosen to step down, that's no longer the United Kingdom's responsibility. According to CBC News, and when Meghan and Harry moved to Canada, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police provided protection, a service that ended March 31st. Despite all the drama surrounding the situation, Harry and Meghan aren't phased by Trump's security cost claims due to a very logical reason. Did Trump cause drama for nothing? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex probably aren't bothered by President Donald Trump's tweet because they have the funds to cover their security costs and this dough will likely come from their sizable net worths. According to the Daily Mail, Meghan Markle, for instance, is reportedly worth $5 million thanks to her acting career and other projects, while Prince Harry supposedly has $25 million in the bank. Not only does the dad benefit from a trust Princess Diana set up, but he also earned money during his time in the army. The Queen also left an inheritance and some of her jewels to the royal, and it's rumored Prince Charles will provide the couple private financial support for a year per people. These figures appear to back up a statement from the couple's rep regarding Trump's security claim, which makes this whole drama seem very silly. They told Fox News. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have no plans to ask the U.S. government for security resources. Privately funded security arrangements have been made. Your move, Trump. Reactions to Trump's tweet were mixed. It's fair to argue Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been plagued by negativity ever since 2016 when they became a couple. President Donald Trump's recent tweet and the subsequent comments to his claim revealed that, sadly, little has changed. One person tweeted, The same Meghan Markle that said she would leave the U.S. if Trump was elected is the same girl that now wants our President Trump to sign off on making the taxpayers pay for her security bill. By girl? Someone else commented, and Marvel stop president is right the U.S. should not Ave to pay for these freeloaders. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are too busy for nonsense. Although the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have money of their own, their cost of living will be very expensive, especially where it concerns private security. It's possible day, two, day security for a year could cost $1 million, including $570,000 for residential security, $245,000 for a driver, and $150,000 for an advance agent, per town and country. However, CBC News estimates the cost of their private security could be anywhere between $10 to $30 million a year. Yikes! Of course, those figures are based on speculation. Security costs aside, it's clear the couple will be busy with their various projects. As time noted, together, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will launch a non-profit organization for their charitable activities in areas including youth empowerment, mental health, conservation, gender equality, and education, while Harry will also continue to oversee the Invictus Games, 
the Olympics, style competition he founded for wounded troops. Markle also has a new job with Disney, working as the narrator for the documentary Elephant. It's an exciting new chapter for Meghan and Harry, and it's probably safe to say they're too busy to be phased by President Donald Trump's nonsense. Please support growing LMD Royal Channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos us. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. If you have any suggestions for us, please leave your comments below. Don't stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Mm -hmm.